whenever somebody has their blood pressure done, they're given two numbers, the systolic, the top number, and the bottom number, the diastolic. But they're given some units for those as well, mmHg, millimeters of mercury. So the question is, why are we using those particular units? Now, maybe your doctor has used a manual sphygmomometer, maybe they've put the cuff on the arm and inflated it with air. The pressure goes round and gives us our blood pressure. Similarly, they may have put a machine on the arm. Again, it compresses the air and the pressure goes up, giving us our markers. So why are we using millimetres of mercury? We could use pascals, which is another entirely reasonable unit of measure and perhaps is more sensible given how we check the blood pressure. Well, it relates to the original sphygmomometers where we did use little reservoirs of mercury. Literally, how high would a reservoir of mercury be forced up a column dependent on the pressure going through the blood pressure cuff. So for example, your systolic, where the pulse would disappear, would correlate to, for example, 140 millimeters of mercury forced up the column. As you release the pressure, similar, the mercury would drop down, and at some point the pulse would return. At this point, you would say your diastolic was, for example, 80 millimeters of mercury. And all the while, it's related to the air pressure going through this cuff, exerting itself on this reservoir of mercury. So this is very much a historical medical facet that leads to us using these slightly archaic measures of blood pressure. Now, from my perspective, I think that the move away from mercury is fantastic. These things are fragile and mercury itself is incredibly toxic. So I'm very glad that I don't have to have this rocking around in my bag anymore. But this particular unit, this was given to me by our family GP that had looked after myself, my mother and my grandparents. So this is quite an important bit of kit for me and it sits on our shelves at home and just reminds me about kind of where we've come from with regard to medicine and to always question where does the numbers, where does the data that I'm working with actually come from originally? Because if I understand that, I'm probably going to understand the medicine I'm practicing that little bit better. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.